Brady, what the hell did you do, dude? Let's release the beast. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at all these little chickies. It was expired when they gave it to me. All of the anti venom that I got was expired. I also found my finger, dude. Look at this. This is the rest of my finger in here. All this little, all this gross white stuff. It's inspection time, baby. Right? Man. The most dangerous part about Venomous is bagging it up and moving it. Care Jesus, keep us safe. Thank you, Lord. Oh, and we're home, baby! Look at this view right here. Look at this. <laughs> Freaking hype, dude. Good morning, people. How the heck are you doing? Today is a day that I've waited a really long time for. I'm sure a lot of you guys have waited a long time for it too. And for those of you that don't even know and have any clue, I moved to this property in the beginning of November with Gianna and my daughter. Actually, no, my daughter was still, <laughs> the baby was still in the belly when we moved here. But anyways, moved here in November, we had our child. Everything has been really, really crazy since this. This whole, this whole year and a half has just been like, whew, wild super super wild before i moved obviously i had to take all my venomous and move them to a licensed facility being chandler's house so i moved all my snakes to chandler's in october i have not had my venomous snakes in my possession since october would you guys shut up let's let these crazy freaking creatures out first before we get more into this video let's go let's go Come on, all you guys, let's go. Come on out. Good morning. How is everyone doing? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. So it's been a long time coming, but today, finally, guys, I'm getting my inspection done. The building is ready to go. Everything is in place. The signs are where they need to be. The covering is are where they need to go. The labels are where they need to be. My permits are on the wall, ready to rock. I am so freaking excited. And not only am I getting my inspection done today, but we're moving all the venomous back into. Shut up. And not only am I getting my inspection today, but we're gonna be moving all of my venomous back into the building also. Everything, everything that's over here at Stone's house, not at Chandler's house. Chandler's house, we're gonna do a separate time and make a whole nother video. But before Eric gets here, my FWC officer, we gotta let out all the animals, we gotta feed everybody, we gotta do our morning farm chores before anything can happen. So let's get to all of that right now. Sharon, get away from those babies. What are you doing? So I don't know if you guys remember, but Sharon is this regular chicken. It's like a game chicken that we got. I rescued her, not rescued her, I caught her behind my tattoo shop in the neighborhood. These people just had a random chicken. They were like, hey, you need to come catch this chicken. So I caught her, brought her here, and she's been living here ever since. But since we have all these baby chickens, she's gotten really broody and very protective over them, especially with the goose. So the goose is in here with all these baby chickens. And we have to separate Sharon at night, otherwise she will beat the crap out of the goose. And that is Gianna's favorite freaking bird here, so I cannot let anything happen to that. Let's release the beasts. There we go. Come on out. Look at this. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Look at all these little chickies. Look, Sharon's like, hey. Come on. Last but not least, the goose. Gotta keep you safe, all right? There we go, all the babies. Sharon, you be nice to them. Do not be a jerk. We just woke up, okay? Brady, what the hell did you do, dude? Oh my goodness. How in the world did you get so caught up in this? You little turd. Dude, he does this every other day. He'll just get in this stupid fence Obviously, this is just a temporary fence to keep all these obnoxious birds in this area. Dude, you really did it really good this time, bro. How the hell? What the frick is going on here? Oh my god, Brady. Do that. Be careful, bro. You gotta be more careful. There you go. Dummy. Pain in my ass. Always. Always doing something, dude. Goats are freaking crazy. The goats are always up to something. They're very 
mischievous. Oh! Man, this thing is freaking awesome. You guys gotta check out this new bike real quick. I know, I know, I know. Real fast. Shout out to Hobsco. Yo, this company makes the best freaking e-bikes on the market they sent me this thing about a month or so ago i've just been really really freaking busy and haven't had time to do a feature on it yet so i figured today was the perfect video for it and this one is not like the rest this one is dual shocks we've got shocks on the front and shocks on the back it's got seven gears on this bad boy not to mention how awesome this shade of greed is that matches my little stunt bike which i love I also really like the way that this handlebar setup is. We got the computer with all your little adjustments right here. What speed level you're at, you have your speedometer right here and you have an odometer. You can adjust everything right here, your lights, your power. This is the gas right here. Oh shit, oh my God. So you don't always have to be on the electric and hauling ass on this. It has a sensor on it that if you just want to pedal nicely, it'll give you like a little assist. So it won't be fully automatic, but you definitely have that extra little push, which is nice because especially on my property, driving on all this soft dirt and soft grass, you know, it's kind of hard to pedal a normal bike. So this pretty much helps you pedal and has a little electric cyst, which makes it really nice and pretty much effortless to drive in the grass, especially this tall, soft, squishy grass. Hello, little goat. Do you like my new bike? Very cool, huh? It's great because I don't have a uh, utility cart yet or anything like that. And obviously, it's a pain in the ass to be walking around the property the entire time. So I just like to get on my little e-bike. Look, you can adjust the speed right there if you want to really go fast. Boom. So that way, I can get everywhere in a timely manner. Hey, building. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that's enough about bicycles. I'm going to go have some fun before I got to get back to work. All the information is down below. Hops go, affiliate link, all that good stuff. Go check it out. Oh, that was real, real close. But go check everything out down below. Get a new e-bike. These things are freaking, freaking rad. And this one right here is top tier, top of the line, the best bike that they make. What's up, guys? Would you relax? All right, so first off, we got to feed all these freaking birds. Everybody is real hungry. It's crazy how much they eat. Especially these turkeys, they are always on the go. Hey, relax, don't break out of there. Hey, come on. Come on, let's go. Food, 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 food. Food, food, food. Food, food, food. Food, food, food. This is goat food for Brady. Hey, leave there alone. Relax. Oh, shut up. Let's let these guys out real quick. Let them run around. Let's go, Gary. Hey. Hey, babies. How are you? Hey, Remy. Hey, Mama. How are you today, baby? There you go, my babies. Food, food, food. Food for everyone. Oh, man. It is so stinking hot out here, guys. Like 100. You check out. Let me show you guys what I got going on. Maybe somebody's got some uh, some good advice on here for me. So Remington has been rubbing her horns lately. Obviously, you can see how big her horns are getting. They're getting freaking gigantic. But she's been rubbing her horns on the trees and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. She's been rubbing her horns on something. And it's kind of... It, you can't really tell right now. It doesn't look raw because I put the... Uh, because I put that blue stuff on there. It's kind of like an antiseptic spray and helps it not be itchy and not so irritated. And it seems to be helping her out. She hasn't really been itching it a whole lot lately, but I gotta figure out something to do for that. I really gotta get one of those cow brushes. People use like street sweeper brushes and stuff like that. So that way your cows can rub up on them and scratch on them. I gotta get one of those things freaking ASAP. I was looking on Amazon and they're like $1,300, which is freaking crazy. So I'm trying to figure out like a more affordable, cheaper route. I just gotta find something online and get it over here. And I was even thinking of strapping it to that palm tree right there. That way she's got something nice and sturdy to like rub herself on. But everybody else, everybody else is doing great, especially these little girl goats. I love these babies. You guys are hungry, huh? And then the next week or so, once we get this snake building a little bit more situated, I'm going to use a couple of these posts 
and I bought some 12 foot four by fours and some roof panels. So that way I can set up a sweet little overhang area. That way when it rains and stuff, their food will be under it. I'm gonna set up the emu's food. The goat will have its own level. The cow will have its own level. And then hopefully it'll all stay nice and dry when it rains because dude, it rains every day here. And then their food throughout the day gets all messed up. I gotta go out there, I gotta change it. I gotta give them new food. It's a huge waste. Oh, the dinosaurs are out now. There they go, running around. Of course they're going back to their enclosure though. Next step, get all these freaking vision cages in there. Eric will be here in just a little bit. We're just cleaning out all these visions. We're gonna get them all sprayed out super, super clean. I have these two by four stands that are kind of just on the, you know, on the fast rigged side. But we're gonna take these. This is for the six foot vision cages for the king and the big rattlesnakes. Then we have this whole other stand right here. Remember, we have the TV visions in the middle and then we have the two towers of two foot visions up top. We're gonna pretty much do the same exact setup in there as well. And keep in mind, this is just this first step of the evolution of this building. We're gonna be working on it, redoing all of the cages. Everybody's getting bigger cages. Everything's getting redone. All the bioactive stuff is getting redone. We're literally starting from scratch at this room. Everything is getting brand new setups eventually. And we're gonna make videos of absolutely everything. And it works out great for Brandon, because Brandon is my new guy. And he's gotta learn all about the venomous stuff. He's gonna be doing his hours over here so he can get his permits eventually in a couple years. So we really gotta focus on husbandry. He already knows how to take care of all the animals very well. We're gonna get him more acquainted with the venomous side of everything. That way he learns about all the snakes that we have here, learns how to handle them. And dude, it's gonna be freaking awesome. And you guys are gonna learn with him because we're gonna make videos about everything. So while we're going through the shed, we found this is one of the 28 vials of anti-venting that I got. If you notice that date up here, December 2013, it was expired when they gave it to me. All of the anti-venin that I got was expired. And they actually gave me way too much when I got bit. And I got serum sickness. It made me super, super sick. It was almost worse than getting bit by the cobra again. But, dude, that was freaking crazy. Thank God I'm alive and still doing what I love to do every day. Also found my finger, dude. Look at this. This is the rest of my finger in here. All this little, all this gross white stuff all right so before this video is over we gotta feed a bunch of stuff too so stay tuned guys watch to the end if you want to see some things get eaten i don't know if i've ever showed you guys or not but this is pretty much how we keep everything i got all my rodents and stuff in this freezer and then this is pretty much where i keep all of the pythons for rusty it's inspection time baby right now gotta let eric into the front gate let's get it that here we go Eric doing his thing fingers crossed we got some bad news guys just kidding we passed baby it is time time to go to stone's house and bring my babies home most of them anyways there's still six snakes at our Chandler's house we'll make a video doing that next week it's been a while since we've done a video over at Chandler's house, so I'm sure you guys will look forward to doing that, right? Comment down below. Who wants me to film over at Chandler's house next week? Let's get to work. Stone's got a trailer. Hopefully we can do this one shot. Shit, of course. It's time to go get the snakes back. And it's about to freaking pour, dude. Woo! We got a sexy truck, though. Oh, I missed you so much, my baby. I missed you, I missed you. Oh, hello, oh, hello. Oh, I miss you so much. <laughs> Freaking hype, dude. Holy crap. All right, well, you guys know the drill. We got our snake boxes right here. We got bags and zip ties and all that crap. It's time to start taking snakes out, bagging everything up, putting them in the transfer cases. Getting them over to the house, getting all these cages loaded up, and getting them all set up. So we're gonna do that this whole freaking video. It's gonna be even longer than it already is, baby. So stay tuned. Hell yeah. We're gonna be passing back the camera back and forth, showing you guys how we do this uh, whole bagging system. All these little wags, bro. Can't wait to get these things set up and on a better feeding schedule. Pump these guys up, get some size on these females. Maybe get a male one day, breed these things. I love these wagglers. 
Hell yeah, dude. I have Rusty home, the rattlesnakes, freaking Kilo, guys. Ah, it's time. Brandon, are you ready to start doing venomous stuff? Ready, man. Dude. There you go. Well, let's go. Time, time to learn, baby. Most dangerous part about Venomous is bagging it up and moving it. So, uh, fingers crossed, everything goes smoothly, guys. Say a little prayer. Dear Jesus, keep us safe. Thank you, Lord. Right, so, the first guys that we're bagging up are the Insularis. We already got the big female in a separate, smaller bag. And now we got all these other smaller adults. Even though they're still breeding, they're not full grown. Some of these females are definitely going to continue to get bigger. The males are pretty much full grown. The females in here still have a little bit of uh, size to put on them. All right, Kilo, dude, you're coming home. Oh my God. Can't freaking wait to bring my dude home. It's about time. It's almost been a year, guys. I packed up my snakes. And I brought them to Chandler's house in October of last year. And I've been waiting to get my building finished so I can bring all my snakes home. So let's see how we're gonna get Kilo in this freaking bag here. Get him with this crawl on in there. There we go, just like that. Secure the bag with the hook, just like so. Make sure the whole snake's body is inside there. Give it a little twisty twist. Throw a zip tie on there. All right, so now to bag up the mang chins, we're gonna use the Midwest Tong snake bagger. This thing is freaking awesome, old school. This thing, this thing has been around forever. And then look at this. Stone's got a mang chin viper freaking snake. That's rattlesnake. All right, so let's get this guy out. Hopefully they cooperate a little bit. Super That's dangerous. Crazy. So dangerous. And they're very strong. So but look at how amazing that snake is, though. God. So sick. Can't wait to have them set up again with the running waterfalls and the lights and the live plants. Get in the bag, looks, hurry! Looks so good. Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> Just like that. Put them down in there. Get my hand out of there. Put it on the ground like so. Oh, he's coming out. Hold on, let's go back down. There we go. One second. There we go. Just like that. Give a little twisty twist. Perfect snake. No. Yeah, perfect. Oh my god, look at this! Somehow, I forgot about this little uh, section of the bag right here. It's an here. escape valve. <laughs> but dude, he got out the freaking escape valve. That is not good. Alright, let's uh, we gotta redo this whole situation. Just look how sick this freaking snake is. So badass, bro. I love these freaking vipers. And they're gonna get way bigger than this too. It's still a juvenile, it's only a couple years old. Still got a good three, four, five years. Of growing. Females get gigantic. It can easily be an eight foot snake. Mang Shen number two. I think this is the male. Oh, yeah. Now, females. Are males look pretty? Females look pretty No, the females are supposed to be the dull ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that would make so sense. This, that this yeah, is the so male this one's is a little bit more brighter colored. Oh, Brighter yeah. yellow. Boom, in there, like that. On the floor, snake in the back. Boom, zip tie. All right, so next is Shatid. See how she's gonna act today. Just wanna get this positioned a little bit better so I have more depth in this bag. That way we can just get her in here, get it on the floor, get it nice and tight real quick. Be done with it. So, Shatid, for those of you that don't know, is my female King Cobra. She is also a Malaysian, and she is a clutch mate to Rusty. So this is Rusty's sister that I got after I got Rusty. I got her when she was probably like maybe six or seven feet long. And now as you can see, she's definitely getting some length to her, which is awesome. She's a little bit more testy than Rusty is. Obviously Rusty's really, really chill, but she will actually hood up and come at you open mouth. She had a couple little injuries a few months ago on the back of her hood and on her nose. And as you can see, they're getting really, really cleared up. Probably one more shed, and you won't even ever notice that little injury. All right, here we go. This is the moment of truth right here. Let's go. In the bag. Get her on the floor. Oh, there we go. On the floor. Get her freaking, get her tail to go in there. Just tickle her tail a little. Tickle her tail a little. I gotta watch. See, her head is right here in the corner. So you just gotta keep conscious of where her head is at. 
tighten it up in the bag just like that so she's nice and cozy. We don't have too much room in there. Don't freak out. Just like that. Throw a zip tie on. Good to go. Next up, big rattlesnakes. You guys are coming home. I'm so excited. Yes. So let's get them out one at a time. Oh, Batman. Hello, sir. My big, beautiful boy. Look at this freaking rattlesnake, guys. He is gigantic. Can't wait for him to come home. As you can see, he's lost a little bit of weight. He's not as thick as he was when I got him, but he's in a nice, healthy shape right now. So let's go ahead, get him in there. Going pretty smoothly so far. Oh, he's trying to put his head out. Let's get you going the other direction there, dude. Come on. Really careful on that freaking rattle. He's got such a big, beautiful rattle. I don't want to jeopardize that at all. That's the absolute worst thing. Is you have a big, beautiful rattlesnake with an even bigger, beautiful rattle, and then it breaks off on accident somehow. It sucks. So we want to be really, really careful with that. We don't want any rattlesnake rattle casualties. All right, zip tie, good to go. Next up on the list, Robin, my female batwing rattlesnake, Batman's girlfriend. I just want to be nice and smooth and careful with her. I don't want to irritate her and get her all pissed off and start striking and stuff. These rattlesnakes can strike so freaking far and fast. So I just want to be real careful. Keep an eye on where her head is at inside this bag. There we go. Secure it with a snake hook. Give it a little twisty twist. Watch my hand right there. And zip tie. All right, so now it's time to get Rusty out. For those of you who don't know, Rusty is my 12, about 12 foot long. We'll make a video later. I want to do a measuring video. I want to measure. I want to see side by side how big he was when I moved into Chandler's house and how big he is now. And that would be really cool. He's so definitely bigger. Yeah, bigger. So let's go in here nicely. Get my dude out. He's a little on the dark side just because he hasn't had any lights or anything on him in a minute. But once he's at the house, we'll get some nice lighting on him again and get him all get him all nice and colored up. And he's so freaking awesome. So let's go ahead and put him in this snake bag. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and grab him like that. Okay. Alright, that didn't work out the way I thought it was gonna do. He's too freaking big for this. Alright. Oh my god, can you hear that outside? It's freaking pouring outside right now. Holy crap, it's like hurricane. But look how big this freaking snake is. Dude, it's huge. All right, so we're gonna reevaluate this. Let's get a bigger bag onto the uh, onto the little snake hook, snake bag contraption. Let's see if we can get him in that way. Let's find the longest bag that we got right now. All right, so we're gonna finish bagging up the rest. All we have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more snakes right here. We're gonna get those quickly backed up. It is pouring outside, and we're gonna get over to the house ASAP. So I just wanna show you guys my rhino viper before I put him in the bag, just because it's so freaking awesome, man. I know I said I wasn't gonna film any, any more videos, but look at those horns on the front. It's such a beautiful snake. And then even, this is a Congo rhino viper, and honestly, when it was a juvenile, the colors were way more intense than this. But still, such a beautiful freaking snake, man. So cool. Let's get him from the back. This snake I actually got from Tom Crutchfield back in the day. I've had this snake. This snake is probably eight years old. He's real cool. So let's get him in the bag. Get him nice and zip tied up. Ooh, update on the baby blues. What's up, guys? I gotta bring all these to Alex's house swap him out for the juveniles that he has and then we're just gonna dish these out to my friends so freaking cool I love these little babies I look how cute you are yes hard part is done everybody survived Brandon congratulations on your first bagging experience what do you think love it bro <laughs> alright that's the answer I like fun, to hear alright so we're gonna get everything everything single bagged right now we're gonna get everything double bagged put into the wooden boxes, locked and moved into the trucks. But first, we're gonna disassemble all of these cages, get them loaded up in the backs of the pickup. And uh, dude, one step away from being for their forever home. I'm excited. Here we go, baby. Long time coming, dude, I'm so pumped. Look how empty this room is now. Sorry, Stone. 
Oh, and we're home, baby. Look at this view right here. Look at this. Oh, let's get it all in one frame. That's beautiful right there, guys. Whoa. And just like that, look at that freaking room. Dude, it is full, baby. Got the main cages here. Got Rusty's cage, T, the rattlesnakes, all these little two footers. Obviously, this is not how we're gonna leave it. We're gonna reorganize everything. These are the albino water monitors right here. We're probably gonna move those into the guest room of the house just to make some extra room in here. And we got all the racks and these cages. Dude, it is freaking just like that. The snake room goes from having absolutely nothing in it <laughs> to <laughs> completely full, dude. Holy crap. <sighs> so excited, long time coming. So we're gonna get to, uh, we're gonna kind of situate these cages real quick, get the glass all in them, and then it's time to take the snakes out of the bags and put them back in their cages, even though this is not how we're gonna permanently keep everything, but we're just gonna kind of temporarily get everything situated for now, so that way they're nice and happy and they're not in these boxes. All right, so now we got all the glass in. Bada bing, bada boom. So pretty much just set up everything like it was set up at Stone's house for the time being. But now it's time to unbox everything and put them away. All right, guys. Finally, dude. The time that I've been waiting so long for. First snake that we're going to release in here and set up is one of my mangs. Because these are the first cages that we have set up in the room right here. And this is looking like it is my... I think this is the male, I believe. How freaking awesome is that, guys? Long time awaited, man. I think this is the male, he's the smaller one. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put him, oh no, I think he was in this, he was in this cage right here. Let's go ahead and put him in his cage. Put him in the same cage that he was in, so that way there's no like weird shock and he's in a new environment and gets all crazy. Look how nicely he just went in there. Now eventually, we're gonna set up all the lights and do new videos and all the setups and all the bioactive stuff that we're gonna redo in here. But tonight, we're just getting everybody nice and cozy back in their enclosures, just so they're at home and can rest a little bit tonight. And then back to work tomorrow. Mang number two. These bags are awesome, super long, that stone head. Super freaking cool. So this is the female. This is the one that was up top. Look at this beauty. Now, I don't know if you guys remember when I first got these guys, they were so freaking tiny. And now look how big they are. They're easily, what, three and a half, four foot? Absolutely freaking beautiful creatures. These are some of my favorite things right here. Like I'm so, so happy to finally have these guys home and just in my possession again. That way I can really make sure they get daily care and we're gonna Feed them twice a week again. Back to being on that twice a week diet and get some size on these guys and really get them growing. So let's put her back in our cage. We still gotta fix up all this stuff. A lot of this stuff shifted out. You can see the kind of the great stuff. It's kind of like a little bit wiggly right here. That gives her a nice little area back there to hide for now. But we're gonna fix everything. Have the waterfalls going again. Live plants in here again. It's gonna be top notch. So next up, Stone is on his way back over here. We forgot the freaking water bowls in the back of his truck. Of course, we always forget something. But Kilo has a hide box, and he's got a water bowl already set up in here. So we're going to go ahead and get him out soon. And I figured, what a good Cobra for Brandon to start with and put away. You know, Brandon is going to be doing his hours here at their facility. He's going to be working for me, taking care of all the reptiles, making sure everybody stays A1 all of the time. Plenty of experience working at pet stores before, any breeds ball pythons. He's got monitors at home, so he's definitely already capable and has the know-how to handle a snake. And I've been working with him with all my other, with the false water cobras, we've been working on using a hook and all that. So right now I'm gonna have Brandon put Kilo away because I feel like that's just, that's a great idea. And he deserves it. He, Brandon has worked his ass off today helping me out. So he deserves to put a nice cobra back in the cage. That's freaking cool, right? All right guys, moment of truth. Putting Brandon on the spot right here. All right, there he goes. So he's using his hook to make sure the snake stays on that side nice and safely. He's watching his hand placement. So now we're gonna step back, give Brandon his space. Boom, boom, boom. There you go, use your hook to, there you go, perfect. Look at that, like a freaking professional, dude. There we go, just get him out on the floor, let him come towards me. 
Nice, dude. Look how beautiful he looks on that wood floor, baby. No more freaking carpet. I love it. Tail up. Nice. Perfect, dude. Beautiful. Look at that. Like a freaking pro, dude. Let him go in his home. Here you go, Keto. Welcome back, my dude. Woo! Crushed it. Comment down below, people. How do you think Brandon just did? Nice and smooth, baby. It's nerve-wracking, right? Your first time, especially knowing that thousands of people are watching you, right? It's my first time doing that. It's nerve-wracking a little bit. I mean, obviously, he's done that with regular snakes, you know, non-venomous stuff, but that's his first time putting a highly venomous animal into its enclosure. And I think he did a great job. Mm-hmm. Yes. Next up, Shati, my female king grower. Get this freaking zip tie off there. Get that like that. Make sure her head is right here in this corner. I can see it pretty clearly. Hey, baby girl. Woo! I don't have my snake hook around me, but that's okay. That's all right, I got it. She's just checking out the new room. I know, girl, look at that. It's crazy, it looks new. New area for you. But dude, she's getting big. Look at this. She's definitely, dude, she might be, she might be 10 feet now. Nine, 10 feet easily. We're gonna have to do a video measuring all the kings and seeing how big they really are. Especially Rusty, I really wanna measure him because I'd put money on it that Rusty's definitely pushing 12 feet right now. Next to go in his new home is my dude Rusty. Hello. My majestic beast of a creature. He's so freaking cool, dude. I love this thing. So awesome. I'm gonna get a good UVB light on him again. Nice heat spot. And then he'll lighten back up. He definitely got a little on the darker side just because he hasn't really had any lights on him in a while. But that orange on the bottom of him, that'll all brighten up and he'll be nice light colored mango orange that he normally is. Look at him, dude. Look at his body weight. is freaking awesome. He's getting so thick and huge. He's giving Kevin a run for his money now. So we already got Robin inside her enclosure. And then so now we got to put... Look how freaking big he looks in this room, guys. Holy crap. So sick. God. Uh, this is the coolest feeling ever. Having my freaking snakes home, man. It's just it's awesome. Gonna be happier. Let's go ahead and put Batman in there with his girlfriend. There you go, dude. His freaking rattle is totally intact. Perfect, man. It's always so stressful moving them. All right, so now that we got all the big stuff in the cages, we're gonna go ahead and unbag all the small stuff just for sake of time. We've been working all freaking day. It's 9.30 right now. So we're gonna get all the small stuff in the cages. We still have to feed some things off. Everything is back in its enclosures. Just gotta throw locks on everything. We're gonna go through. I got some feeders to feed things. I don't even know if they're gonna wanna eat or not, but I'm still going to uh, offer it to them. We'll put one at least, one chick in the mangs cages at least. They'll probably eat that overnight. I'll check everything in the morning. Look at that. Just moved these snakes. Already taking food, man. So sick. I'm gonna feed my indigo snakes. Hey, would you like this? Would you like a tasty treat? There we go. Nice. Perfect. Oh, I love this. When you move snakes, sometimes they go on a little bit of a feeding strike. And they gotta settle in to their new environments before they uh, they eat again. But this uh, this male right here, he's in shed. Oh, he's still gonna eat them. Awesome. Hell yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna go through this rack. It's late. I'm gonna save you guys the pain of watching me feed all these freaking snakes. That's a wrap for today. Snakes are back home. So freaking awesome. Big thanks to Brandon. Big thanks to Stone. All the snakes are home, man. I'm pumped, but I'm also freaking exhausted. So until the next time, guys, tattoos.com for all of your merch. Go support your boy. Stay tuned. We have a lot of work to do here, so we're gonna have we're gonna be pumping out videos like freaking crazy, especially now that I got Brandon on the team. We're gonna get some work done. You're gonna see a lot more of us. So stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next one.